Okay, a little time has passed, and I've done a few little different things here. For one, I, uh, in, I brought up uh, the standard RF-382A coupler, and um, I wanted to show what I meant. Let's see if I can get any more light on this subject here. Let's put a little, try the flash. Okay, so this is uh, the cover that covers the, the 50 ohm port, and if you listen, you could hear that the switch is right now uh, the output is connected to the high voltage, and if you lift it, it'll be connected to the 50 ohm port. Uh, I wanted to get this one connected up because um, it's easy to get working and just make sure that everything else on the radio and amplifier are working. Uh, you know, instead of looking at these new items, which are sort of uh, unknowns, I wanted to use a, a known working antenna coupler. So uh, we're using this one right now, which is this, this setup, which is the one I'm, I've, I've sold. Um, and I just wanted to show, again, that uh, it's got a very large connector here, uh, whereas these couplers are a much smaller connector. Okay, let's see. What else did I want? Oh, the, the size difference. I don't know if you can really, if I could back up enough. But it, uh, I don't know if it really is clear here, but uh, I'd say the 382 weighs as much as 2 of the 5382s up in the upper right. Okay, so I thought we'd do a couple of tests and see what's what. Uh, I've got out my handy dandy manual. Manual's for the 150, but most of it is the same. Uh, while I'm at the manual, I'll show you a few things. So, uh, the radios on their side, you can see here, have uh, cutouts or scratch outs for what options have been installed or modifications, I should say. Um, you see two, three, four, six, seven, and B. Uh, this radio here um, actually has the exact same, if I, can, if I can get down there, it's exactly the same. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, two, four, five, six, seven, and B. Uh, of course, now I've just closed the manual to tell you what all those things mean. Let me put it on hold and get back to you. Okay, here we are. So the, the really ones that, that only make a difference here is seven, even though I've got uh, some of the ones before seven. Seven is checked off, and that contains all the modifications, one through six. And then B, MELP Digital Voice Installed. I'm kind of surprised I couldn't find a, a better name for digital voice than MELP, but that's what it is. Here's also an interesting little table that shows compatibility. Uh, between the various uh, models of this, the 150, which is the military one, you see has type 1 encryption capability uh, here. That's the only one that is type 1. The 5800, which is the one we've got here today, two of them, doesn't have the military, but it has the Citadel and AVS, which is a digital voice. I forget exactly what it stands for. And then they're even nice enough to compare the RF 5000, the Falcon 1 series, and the, AM, uh, and the PRC 138. Uh, and those, neither of those have any kind of encryption, but both have digital voice. And then radio modes. Fix is just your standard mode, ALA. ALE is uh, um, automatic linking estab link establishment. 3G and 3G Plus are um, higher versions, more advanced versions of uh, ALE. And then HOP, which is hopping, which is for uh, low probability of intercept type stuff. All right, anyway, let's... Um, Let's look at the actual radio. I'm going to turn off, see if I can turn the flash off. Uh, actually, you can kind of read it, but I'm going to see if I can turn the flash off in case, uh, maybe make it easier to read. Okay, so, um, yeah, maybe it's not. We're going to go through some menu options here. We're going to go through some tests. So we're going to go through option here, and we're going to go to test. Let's do a visuar test. I hope you can see this. Let me get a little closer. And now we can enter a frequency to do the to do the